In West Africa, Ghana is constructing a second state-of-the-art information and communications technology center with the potential to generate thousands of jobs. The nation is hoping the new facility will grow its economy. The IC hub, nicknamed Hope City, is located near the capital Accra, and VOA's Paul Ndiho tells us all about it. Local technology manufacturer RLG, in partnership with tech giant Microsoft, recently launched the construction of a 10 billion technology center, one of Ghana's biggest projects. Job creation expectations are high as the country positions itself to build on its strong oil and telecom sector. Recently, at the groundbreaking of the multi-billion dollar project, Ghanaian President John Dramadi Mahama said the center has potential to change the face of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, government is particularly excited that this business initiative is being led by a local company, RLG, and the project has many potentials for sustainable creation of jobs for our young people. Al LG hopes to have the center built in three years. After its completion, the park is expected to employ more than 50,000 people and offer 25,000 people a place to live. The new compound will also include a 75-story tower, the tallest in Africa. The completion of both projects will contribute greatly to making Ghana an ICT hub for the sub-region. Let me emphasize that the two projects will be complementary to each other and not in competition with each other. Al Hassan Omar, Director of Information Technology Enabled Services under the Ministry of Communication, says with an initial budget of 10 billion US dollars, a lot more investment is needed from private sector to complete the massive project. The government of Ghana is just, was, is just an initiator. We want the private sector to come and drive the park. RLG has an equally innovative vision for the Hope City, and its planners are confident that the development will succeed and help Ghana become a global business attraction. So we're expected to attract the best in the world, and so all the best in the world don't be surprised, you're going to have the best brains in Silicon Valley. All of them will be stationed here and they would help our people to grow the talent that we are looking for. And so we are not just looking at we ourselves, but we are creating a synergy across the globe. Technology parks around the world, such as America's Silicon Valley, Kenya's Silicon Savannah, and the Innovation Hub in South Africa have all managed to persuade large companies to invest in them. However, financial analysts are warned that expectations for the Hope City should be managed due to the economic struggles plaguing Europe and the United States. My worry about the Hope City is the, the funds needed to um, implement it. You need about 10 billion, it's a 10 billion dollar project. And I am wondering where the money will be coming from. Looking around, the international markets are almost dried up. I mean, there are no fans around. Ghana is one of the leading cocoa and gold producers in the world, and in later 2010, it began pumping crude oil, becoming Africa's newest oil exporter. The nation is also among Africa's fastest growing economies. But some critics say that while the plans to put it firmly on the international technology map are in place. It will be several years before the ambitious dreams can be realized. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.